Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. Jeremy Weiss here. We're here live from the Sweet and Snack Show. I'm here with Susie, who's the founder of Susie's, SusieSmartCookie.com. And I want to talk about the idea. The initial idea for the cookie. You know, I wrote a history of the omega-3 fatty acid research, no. the queen of fats. Well, let me get that book for you. Can okay. I you wrote a book on this. So yes. what's, your, what's your background? This I is the queen science, of fats. Science background. I'm a science writer um, and have been for, you know, since the 80s. This is the queen of fats. Wow. And then after writing this book, my husband said, Are you a scientist? Or? I'm a scientist. Oh, and what, like and in what? What's your? Biology. Okay. A biology degree from Tulane. Cool. And went into science writing, have written many books on different subjects, but came to this one. And this one was the book I was born to write. Yeah. So, so it what's it about? It's about about how the omega-3s originate in the green leaves of plants, not fish as many of us think, and they accumulate in the animals that eat green leaves. And the reason we become deficient in omega-3s is because we eat so much of a competing fat, which is the omega-6s. So once we're having so many omega-6s in our diet, we, our enzymes can't pick out those omega-3s. And so we, we, our tissues are deficient in the omega-3s. So what happened was that then I decided I could bake foods with a healthy balance of those omega-3 and omega-6 fats, which enables our enzymes to put those omega threes back where they where we need them yeah. into our into our cells. Yeah, if people don't know omega threes. You can correct me if I'm wrong, since you're the queen of fats. But yeah. omega threes. I mean, there's proven research that it helps increase HDLs, lower LDLs, and lower cholesterol. There, I mean, there's actually scientific research showing that. They're anti-inflammatory, so they help with any inflammatory conditions, which are numerous. They help with insulin sensitivity. There's just, they help with dry eye syndrome. They help with yeah. skin. They, do you know, there's nothing that they don't need. Yeah. We need them in every cell in our body. So where should be people getting the omega-3s? They should be getting them by eating tons of green leaves and animals that eat green leaves. And they should also look for a certain number of seeds that do have a healthy balance of threes and sixes. That's the flax seed, the canola a seed, which is what I use in these cookies to give them the right balance. Yeah, so I want to talk about what's in these cookies. We have, there's a bunch of flavors here, but this one is a banana coconut cookie and it says two grams of omega-3s in there. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk about some of the ingredients of the cookies and the flavors, but I want to talk about their, most people think of omega-3s and they think fish oil, right? right? And cardiologists even say, okay, you should be doing whatever brand of lemon flavored fish oil so you can choke it down. So what's your thought on the fish oil piece? Fish is I had no idea this is where the conversation was going, but this is totally good. I love it. <laughs> My background is in biochemistry, so I could totally have this conversation with you. Right. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So fish get their omega-3s. Not, they're not born magically with omega-3s. They get them from eating phytoplankton, uh, the green leaves of the ocean, or they get them from eating other fish that have eaten that phytoplankton. So it all comes up from the green leaves of plants. It doesn't come up from fish. So fish... Most of the fish we eat are still wild. They haven't been fed a high omega-6 diet, so they're full of great omega-3s, and they're a great source of omega-3s. The problem is there just aren't that many fish in the ocean to give us all our right. omega-3s in that way. We have to figure out what the issue is, which is that we're 
eating in our diet, we're eating such an unhealthy balance of threes and sixes. Oh, yeah. We have to get back to that better balance. Oh. And then our enzymes do it all for us. They make those long chain omega-3s for That's us. Right. We just done a study and we've shown that this is a very effective way of increasing the DHA and the EPA right. in your tissues. So how much omega-3 should we be getting on a daily or weekly basis? Okay. So the man who invented the terminology, the omega-3 terminology, Ralph Holman, told me um, when I was researching the book, he said, have a source of omega-3s at every meal and not too many omega-6s, and your enzymes will do the rest. Mm. You know, metabolism is happening all the time, not just when we remember to eat our take our fish oil pill, yeah. it's happening yeah. all the time. So right. that's what you have to remember. It's interesting, and a lot of people, they can't get, so you're saying, you know, a lot of people, are, they're not eating fish on a daily basis, they can't get enough fish, or maybe they just don't like taking the fish oil. Right. And this is this a is alternative to this. Um, it's got two grams per, per cookie. So talk about some of the ingredients in, in it. So I wanted these cookies to be all natural because I wanted them to feed them to my family, which they we all happen to love them. So they're oatmeal based, they're all natural, there are no synthetic ingredients in them, synthetic flavors. I wanted it to be something that people would want to eat on a daily basis. So these are really taste like a home-baked item. Um, they're great if you heat them up. They're great if you eat them cold. Uh, most of my family would never travel without them now that we have become so used to them. They're really, uh, you know, nutrition-packed, guaranteed way that you're going to get your omega-3s. You can pop it in a backpack, put it in a briefcase, put it in a lunchbox. And I mean, I think there's even research, you can correct me if I'm wrong, even for uh, pregnant women who are taking them that helps, I, I don't know with not just oppression but um even the formation of the of the baby's spinal cord and spinal canal i don't know if that's true it's all true it's yeah. all true babies really so are pregnant women like gravitating to this too or yeah. I have, um, we have some um, associations with the prenatal yoga center in New York City where their women all take these on a daily basis. And uh, yes, we definitely would like uh, pregnant women to know about this because the omega-3s are so important for the brain development of the fetus. But they also, because they're so important, the Developing fetus really depletes the mom of omega-3s during development, so she really has to be super careful of making sure she's getting a good source of them at every meal so that she, at the end, doesn't you know, wind up with a postpartum depression or some uh, condition that's, uh, that's symptomatic of being deficient in the omega-3s. So, Susie, so what flavors do you have? I, I mentioned that there's a coconut, there's a banana coconut. What else do you have? coconut, we have gingered apple, we have the original orange cranberry nut, and then the latest one, which is the cocoa flavor. And they're all oatmeal based, they all are loaded with dried fruit, mostly uh, dried apple. They're really, uh, you know, very, very satisfying and sustaining. So what's the source of omega-3 in these? In them. The source of the omega-3s is the flaxseed meal, which is in all of them, the non-GMO expeller press canola oil, which is in all of them. I just wanted to have the healthiest possible oil in these cookies. And then in the original orange cranberry nut, there's walnuts too, which are also a good source of omega-3s. So talk about the original batch. The, the, go the original batch. So it was made in my kitchen. And then uh, shortly thereafter, the Cornell Food Entrepreneurship Center in, uh, in Ithaca, New York, helps food entrepreneurs in New York to bring their um, products to fruition. So was the original idea, were you going to make this into a business or were you just experimenting with, what was the original idea? The original idea was that I could adapt because I had already started to adapt all my cookie recipes I was making at home. I have a chocolate chip cookie and I had already played around with changing the flaxseed meal in that and found it to be delicious. It yeah. didn't surprise The so original was you knew that omega-3s were so healthy you wanted to infuse them in all the cooking and the cookies you were doing. 
that I did. And then I thought, well, what would be the best way to get this to consumers? And I thought the breakfast cookie was a great way because it is actually replaces an entire meal. So it would really deliver a big impact to have those omega-3s replace whatever other breakfast people are eating. You know? So how did that entrepreneurship uh, society help? Uh, they helped with finding me a, a, the original co-packer, which I've moved on from, but they did help with that. They helped with the FDA rules and regulations. Because yeah. you're the scientist, so they wanted to kind of help get it pushed into consumers. Yeah, they had all, they, they knew all about what was going to be required, what kind of testing I needed to make sure that both of these were going to be um, not bad for consumers over a period of time, and also to make sure that they had what I said they had in them, the two grams of omega-3s, yeah. So where can people find them now? Where can they get them? Well, the, the shortest way is to just order them online, okay. suzysmartcookie.com, but you can find them in airports around the country, Whole Foods in the Northeast region. Please ask your Whole Foods in other regions to bring them in. That would be a great thing. And then there are independent grocers around the country that are ordering them it's currently. Amazing. So two things. I want to know what's been, this is not easy to do, right? To get off the ground, you have a long history of research and putting these, you know, from the ingredients to like refining it to the flavors to the packaging, what's been challenging? And then I want to talk about a proud milestone. Okay. So what's been challenging part about getting this the off the ground? Part and the cooking part were things that were easy for me because I could totally rely on my taste buds. And without that, I don't know where I would be, but I could rely on them. Distribution, getting convincing people to bring them in, give them a try, put them in front of their customers. That's been challenging and uh, still working on that. Always but on yeah, it. yeah, always working on that. What about um, a milestone, a proud moment from this journey? Well, there was one man who came by yesterday and he said, these are 200 times better than one of my competitors across the floor. So, um, okay. you know, the fact that people recognize that they are a fresh... Better how? Is it, was it taste? Was it quality? What was the... Uh, oh, the, he didn't say how oh, better okay, how. Okay. Right, right, right. But it, I imagine it's all of those things put together, yeah. right? Satisfying. They're satisfying. They're delicious. They taste fresh. They're something that you might want to eat every day. Oh. I do. <laughs> All right, so let's point people again to your website. Where should they find them? It's www.suzysmartcookie.com. And just so, or you can Google the breakfast cookie, Suzy Smart Breakfast Cookie, and you'll get right to the website. Very easy to order. We have people that have order subscriptions so that they can just get them on a, a weekly or a monthly basis. Uh, All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thanks. What I got. Can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See lights like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.